Installing tkinter in your project in Visual Studio is a three-step process. Number one, you need to open your project in Visual Studio. Number two, you need to create a virtual environment and activate it. Number three, you need to install tkinter in the virtual environment and you can then use it in your project. Let's see how we can do it. First, open your project here. I don't have a project ready, so I will just create a new project here. And let's call it TK LJD City. And now I need to open the folder. Select folder. Now, as you can see, okay, let me just trust the authors. Now, as you can see, the project is empty here. Now, go to terminal, click on new terminal, and we need to create a new virtual environment. To create a new virtual environment, type Python MVNV and my VNV. As you can see here, it shows we noticed a new virtual environment that has been created. Do you want to select it for your workspace? You can click yes, and this means that our virtual environment is created. Now we need to activate it. To activate it, just type the name that you had just written here. I had written my VENV, so I'm writing my VENV, and then hit tab, and then write scripts, and then hit tab again. And write is activate and hit tab again so make sure you are using forward slash and that you are in your project folder and once you are there just hit enter and now our virtual environment is being activated as you can see it shows my venv this means that this virtual environment is activated now you just type pip install tk to install tkinter now as you can see it shows successfully installed tk now we can create a new file and call it main.py and we can import tk here tkinter here and let's print import it as you can see here it is not showing any error and if you run this it will be working properly uh, if it was not installed it would show error let's try and run this and as you can see here it shows the message imported it means that there is no error in this line about this if you have any problems, let me know in the comments below.